ways we can change the displays uh, and also the payment. So under the Shopper Press menu, if you go down under Payments, and you'll see there it's got um, PayPal Standard. Mm -hmm. Well, if you edit that, um, at the moment it's got my PayPal address in, mm -hmm. which isn't any good. Well, it's good for me because if you sell lots, <laughs> I get lots of money. Um, but here's where you put in your PayPal address, email right. address. If you haven't got one, it's very easy to set up. Okay. Um, there's lots of other different ways of paying, including all these things like Google accounts and all these things. And most of them you can get, you can go and get set up and do it that way, or you can just have something a blank form um, where people can send you, you know, a form that they can send you in terms of how they can pay if they want to pay with a. I don't know if you do credit cards and that. Sort yeah, of thing. she does do credit cards. Okay. Um, probably the easiest way, what most people are familiar with. Is PayPal right or yeah. get them to email you if they want to pay by credit card and then you can call them back so that's what we tend to do mm. we tend to recommend um, so yeah so, so PayPal, the, PayPal or... is set up okay and then there's a form one here where they can email you um, and pay form. yeah if you ask your credit card people mm -hmm. which one of these they might use yeah most of them tend to go through PayPal but okay. all, all of those can do that way. Okay. Um, now, if we go back into um, display settings, there's lots more options here. So, um, custom field captions, that's if you have added fields you might want to put, I don't know, uh, I don't know, let's say one um, calories or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Or pack yeah. size or something, yeah. which was unique and you could add that in. Currency options you can put in here as well. So I don't know if, if we're going to be doing different currencies. No, I don't think she will. It makes it too so. difficult. It does. Um, nice thing about PayPal, it automatically does currencies right. for you. And the footer configurations, once again, it's a footer text that you can do there. So it's very straightforward. All right. Um, there is a bit more to do with display in general setup. So maybe I did that a bit quick. So I go into Shopper Press, general setup. It takes me to these screens here, right? Mm. So, okay, so this is the template I'm using, and there's lots of templates. Um, this is just quite a nice, easy one. I can allow people to register. I can turn that on and off. I can uh, enable a special facility that makes it look slightly different on a phone, so that can be easier. And then down here, I can choose whether to to um, manage stock and various other options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, categories is where I show the categories. So this is all the suite types you have. Mm -hmm. So what I can do, um, so for example here, balloons is ticked not to show on the website. Right. So if I untick it, yeah, that's good. And yeah. save now, it will it will um, show? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what I can also do is I can add, it, add in extra text. So if I go into balloons now, right, um, I think I have to save that first. Yeah. Right. So just save the changes. Right. This is category custom headers. So I think someone else is using the internet here. Because we can dial in, so oh, can you? Yeah, or connect in. So sometimes we we'll work at home. It's a bit too slow, right? So what this means is, is that on say any section at all, any category at all, I can go in and put a couple of sentences about that, what that service is, mm -hmm. um, independent of any products. So I'm just going to close some of these. I don't know if this is causing the problem. Yeah, let's close all of those. page this is about your first page right so to get in the boxes you do not want to be displayed on your website all right so I've you know ticked callbacks mm -hmm. and all that on there uh, 
and messages, and that's fine. Image is where you do your logo. Yeah. Right? And this is also a little bit technical here, where you specify any where you want things saved and what have you. Oh, Don't need to touch any to of that. There. If you want to, once your site gets quite big, you can have the search boxes on there, and the default settings is where you set the currency and, and any things mm. to do with that sort of technical thing. Okay. So let me go back to category and see if that is saved now. All right. So if I go into this, can be quite useful. If it works, there we are. So it opens up me mm -hmm. a box, um, and I can say um, a full range of party and special event balloons. Is it one o two o? I think. Oh, there balloons. We there we are. Oh, yeah. um, from two pound ninety nine. Also, um, helium party um, service. Sorry, I'm making yeah. this up. Yeah, that's right. fine. Now, so what I'll show you, and you can also put an image in there if you want to. Right. And I save that. All right. And if I go and look at my website, what's now happened? If I if I um if I go into here. All right. Um, well, I actually haven't got it to displaying balloons, but if I go and find balloons on here, All right. Uh, right. So here's my categories. So I'm going to turn these on in a minute so they appear mm -hmm. at the top. So there's balloons. So I'm going to categories balloons. All right. Um, that's the text I've just put in. Yeah. Right. Now, unfortunately, what I've done, I've put, I've ticked the category box for these fudge things right. to appear in the balloons. I but see. normally there'll be balloons, you see. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but this line of text, this is where you can actually put more of an introduction yeah. in before you put the products up. Okay. So. Um, so, how would she have to take these off when she. Right, let's show that. So, what I've done with those products. I go into manage products, mm -hmm. okay, and I've actually put them under the wrong category. So I've gone into product one. Yeah. If I scroll down, well, you can see well, this one oh, isn't. I see. But I just untick the category. Oh yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So know, any changes to any products is always under manage products. Yeah. Um. Okay. So and I can. If I, if I actually look at balloons as a category now, so I've just gone to manage products, I've put balloons under filter, mm -hmm. and I filter that, and I can see these are the offending products. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick them all, mm -hmm. and then um, let's see if I can bulk edit them. I'm not sure if I can. I can't quite remember. If not, I'll have to do them all at a time. Yes, I can. So there we are. So I'm going to choose not to have them in um, balloons, but just under uh, fudge squares. Hopefully, if I then go back into create that filter, oh, no, I, did, I did change them individually. Okay, so I need to turn them off. So I go into each one, and they're actually ticked for all of them. Um, but I take the ones that aren't appropriate and then update that. And when I go back in to look at that category, there will only be two of them there. But first of all, what I want to do is to just go in. Is balloon something that. Um, she does a lot of the balloons. Balloons, okay. <coughs> okay She's got some amazing pictures of the balloons. Okay. So we do want this to be displayed. Okay. So off we go. So it's fairly straightforward to turn those image things on and off as we want to. Um, that you, if you don't want those boxes, mm -hmm. um, let me just show you how you do that. 
So if we go into uh, visit the website again for a minute. Okay. Right. So we've got the sliders in there. Mm -hmm. They go through nicely. We've got the main image here, and you can make this link to anything. So this one at the moment links to the main website, but these I can make link to special categories. So this one, um, okay, well it goes to the main website mm -hmm. at the moment, but let's imagine I want to link it just to balloon categories, right? So what I'm going to do is go into my display settings mm -hmm. under shopper press and I go into my home page yeah all right and what I want to do is to have this one here link to um, the section on balloons mm -hmm. so what I do I'm going to find that section um, on the website uh, which will be we need to make sure that's all displayed. So we need to have a full display on there, but um, why couldn't we find balloons? Let's go into categories here. All right, there we are. So, so that's my link here. So mm -hmm. I highlight this, Control C. See, there's only two of those there. Yeah. Could we turn one of those off? So I'm going to insert that in that box there. All right, that's the text I want to appear. All right, so I can change this. Oops, got to press the right button. I can change this. So, so I've got that link in there now, and I want to change this for any event. Okay, and then I just have to save that. Scroll way down, save the changes, and then when I go back into this, go to my home page. Right. When I click on this image, it'll go straight to my page on balloons. Right. Okay. okay. So the idea is is that what you have on the main page is you have this slider with the featured products mm -hmm. or special offers you might be running. And you have probably about four or five of those, and they scroll through. There's no reason why you can't have a hundred. Mm. These are the main Cate yeah. categories yeah. that you have, um, and you try and keep it visual because that looks nice. But when you hover over it, you see how that mm. comes up. And then here I've got I've got this here which I can turn on or off for one mm -hmm. two, and and then down here I've got these are the least recent items. This text here also is I've added in, so I can change that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then clicking on any of those, um, I can I can put those put those up. Okay, um, and then taking clicking on them goes straight to it. All right, so it's it's um. So with this, for instance, it doesn't have balloons on the top. So how would okay. she change? Save 